you're watching this film, then you probably have a child in your class with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Please look elsewhere on the Nip in the Bud website for more information about ADHD. In the meantime, here are some top tips that you can use in your classroom straight away that may help to support that child and their learning. The child with ADHD may be impulsive, chatty, and easily distracted by environmental stimuli. Children with ADHD may struggle to sit still or focus on their lesson. These tips should help reduce the stress in the classroom and facilitate whole class learning. Tip one, find a place in your classroom that reduces sensory stimulation. Some children need to be away from the doors and windows or they will become distracted by what's going on in the playground or corridor. Some children benefit from being in specific areas of the classroom. This might be at the front of the class, near the teacher, or at the back of the class, near a TA. This way, they can get immediate and subtle support. Others need a separate workstation at the back of the classroom. Tip two, try providing regular movement breaks. You might try a quick five minute move exercise for the whole class in between writing tasks. Come up with a list of class jobs and assign the child with ADHD to the one which involves movement, like handing out resources. Fidget toys can also help once ground rules have been created and agreed between the teacher and the child together. Tip three, break information down to smaller chunks or steps. Children with attention difficulties need learning tasks to be broken into discrete steps. Some teachers use visual timetables, timers, charts, and now and next boards. Now it's maths, next it's playtime, to show children how they're doing and keep them on track. Tip four, work with the pupil's learning strengths and limitations. Children with ADHD often have undiagnosed learning difficulties. If the student struggles to read or write, allow them to demonstrate their knowledge verbally. Encourage them to use a laptop or tablet. They can also use a scribe or voice recognition software for written work. Tip five, help with organization. Children with ADHD often have organizational difficulties. They will struggle to manage their belongings and navigate their way around the school. Make sure their peg is the first or last in the cloakroom area. Only allow a small number of children in the cloakroom or corridor at one time so that this time is less chaotic. Use online homework task recording so there's clear communication between you and home. Use a visual timetable to remind them when to bring in items like a PE kit into school. The timetable should be on the classroom wall with copies in their reading book and at home. Tip six, notice and praise the pupil for getting things right. Children with ADHD often receive negative attention for disruptive behavior. This can erode the child's self-esteem, reduce their motivation, and contribute to a negative cycle of antisocial behavior. You can support the child in learning how to self-regulate their behavior, by noticing any triggers or early warning signs and adapting your teaching as necessary. Regular supportive feedback can make a huge difference to a pupil's experience of school. The more specific, the better. Name the skill they've used and then they'll know how to repeat it again. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Your dedication and care will be making a big difference to the child you're hoping to support. If you'd like more information on ADHD, please visit our website at www.nipinthebud.org.